Hey everyone and welcome to part two now of the tutorial about controlling the shutter channel on one fader. So in, if you haven't watched my first one, please watch it and you'll find it really interesting. So in my second one, I'm going to show a different approach to the uh, to the idea of controlling a certain attribute with more precision rather than the first method where you're relying on approximate range knowledge of your fader, uh, of your fixture. In this case, you will know almost for sure that you're going to get the same result. And also, this method is super useful when you're trying to control multiple fixtures or shutter channel of multiple fixtures at the same time because the first method it's very useful but it's not as good as this one when it comes to the controlling multiple fixtures at the same time the same attribute okay so without further ado let me start it cool so in today's method I'm gonna show you how to record how to control a certain attribute a channel it could be anything uh, I normally use it for shutter, uh, strobe, uh, sorry, shutter, gobo, and prism, and sometimes color as well. But you can use it for any other attributes as well. So this is how it works. We will create a basic Q stack that consists of four steps. Each step is going to be our different range of the shutter. So that's going to be, for example, shutter open, medium fast, uh, uh, slow, medium and fast strobes. And I'm going to use my palettes that's already created by MagicQ to create that playback. So, first of all, I will select my my fixtures. I, I don't even need that playback to be on. So, I'll select my lights and then I will press copy. Okay, and here so let me just go here. Yeah, here we've got palettes shutter open, shutter slow, shutter medium, and shutter fast. And what I'm going to do is I press copy, then I click and drag my mouse above four of these palettes. So you have four of these uh, are highlighted. It says copy, press copy, select source. So if I press enter, it will take it into the clipboard. And then if I drop it here, I press clear. Now I have created a chase with my four steps. I will convert it into the Q stack. Okay. So, and the last thing I need to do here is following. I need to triple click my playback, the S button, or you click on the screen. After that, you change fader control HTTP channels to no. And then fader jumps to Q to yes. Okay? So, I mean, the HTTP controls is not really important in this scenario. But you could you could left it, but you could leave it, could have left it. But in my case, I would say I normally stick to this rule. So if I'm controlling H HTTP, LTP values, therefore, I don't really care about the HTTP. So... I made it no, and I'm controlling fader jumps to Q step. So what does this function allow you to do? So this function, basically, if you launch this Q, uh, Q stack, when I'll be moving my fader, it will scroll through the steps as I move up, and then it goes down as I move my fader down. This is how it's going to look like. So you have your Q stack, uh, the playback, okay, and the uh, shutter channel at the moment is not recorded here so i'll start with this so i launched my playback and you can see it started first queue so imagine that you have 10 steps here because it's a you know 100 percent so 10 percent 20 percent 30 40 etc so divide this whole range onto four parts i.e q1 q2 q3 q4 now you go higher and goes to the next queue you go higher, it goes to the next queue. It goes even higher than that. It goes to the next queue. And then I go the same way down. You can see that it's all working. Then I go back to the first queue. It stops. That's it. As simple as that. Okay? That was 
simple to do. However, I, will, I know, I know, you will come back to me and say, as is, it doesn't work. And I know every, I know several ways of why it didn't work for you, and I'll show you all today. So stay tuned. Okay, so why it didn't work for you? The first reason is you launch it, it's fine, you quickly push the fader down, and it's still strobing. And you'll be like, Aziz, I told you it doesn't work. And I can tell you why. The reason is, as you can see here, the strobe channel is not coming from the from this static uh, from this playback. Therefore, if I start from the beginning, okay, so you can see the shutter is at open 005, then you go up, 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 up. Okay, it's all good. But when you're trying to release it and you release it too fast. The console did not have a chance to scroll through the steps. Therefore, when you kill it like that, it basically stays on the last uh, position, known position, which is strobe. And this is where you're going to say, as easy, it doesn't work. And I'll show you three methods how to make this work 100%. Okay? So, let's start with a very basic method. Okay? Let's fix the issue of... Uh, of that's the same way I did showed in the first first video. So one of the reasons is when we release the playback, it it, re it releases the LTP values to the next available active, or the whatever the value was the last one. So in my case, there is no last value there. So therefore, if I want to fix this method one, you just force record a shutter open into this playback. Okay, so that means I'll select it, I'll press shutter open, hold shift, press record, merge, and I'll merge it here. Now, when I launch this playback, and you look into the out, you can see the strobe values are coming from this playback. Okay, start raising it up, up, and it starts strobing. Now push it all the way back. And it goes back to where it's supposed to be. Why? Because the when you released it, the magic is looking for the last value or the last active value. In my case, is a strobe at 005 here. Boom, it works. So this is method one. Let me show you method two. Let's say I will delete that strobe from that playback. Okay? It's no longer there. So, that means if I raise this playback again, you know, it will stuck on strobing. So, the second method is fixing your issue when you're pushing your fader fast, too fast, and therefore it remains the values still active right at the top. So, how to fix this? <laughs> this the solution is quite simple and trivial. So, if you triple click your playback, make sure the fader does not release the stack okay so that means when you raise it i'm oh, sorry so when you raise it and you push the fader down it always ends up on the first queue simple as that and now it's not strobing because it's coming into the first queue and the first queue is shutter open boom solved again okay third method let me release that. Third method is, uh, let's look into the issue again. So when I'm running a strobe, it goes to some other values, let's say 211. As soon as I put my fader down, what you're going to see is it can't find the, uh, it does not release the LTP value to the default, uh, to the default. And this is exactly where we're going to look at it now. So, if you go into, that's the third method. So, if you go to the setup, programmer panel, and it says unused channels return to default. Right now, by default, it says heads without intensities only. Now, make it to all heads. And let me show you how it works. You start raising the fader. It's all working. As soon as you push it all the way down, it it, it releases itself to the default value, 
and what is default value as you remember from the first tutorial here default value was 005 therefore we got 005 again another solution so these are three methods that can work with that way of recording again you can use them with uh, uh, gobos with um, uh, with the prism or you can use them with the color so anything you want but just don't forget all the things that I showed you here and how to avoid the issues that you may face when you start programming and yeah this was I hope that was useful again if you like it please like the like my video subscribe to my channel and show it to others if now if you didn't know before I started this video now you know how to do it thanks again and have a lovely day bye bye